Hey everybody, this is going to be a super quick video on how to use Yabber. Um, if you don't have it yet, um, you can probably just search Yabber Elder Moon and you can find it on this GitHub right here. Um, Yabber is something that unpacks compressed files. Uh, so, for example, uh, I have it set to my right click, so I can just right click and click Yabber. Um, but just for people who are new, I'm going to show you what it, you'll likely be doing. You'll be dragging it onto the Yabber EXE. Um, Alright, so say I'm working on textures and I have uh, this armor right here. It's just a pair of gloves. I don't even know what it is. It's just um, a pat to random armor file. And we're going to go all the way in. And textures are stored in TPF files, which is a package format textures. I'm going to yabber it. I like to right click and clip, but just drag it onto yabber. Not DCX and not context. Um, and then here's the folder. So here's the important part when it comes to adding new texture files. Um, let's say I am going to add a bunch of random pictures to this. Um, they're going to be DDS, uh, but just for um, example, uh, I'll convert that real quick. I'm going to convert it to DDS just so it kind of makes sense with what you're doing. There it is. Uh, I'm just going to drop that in here, and your first thought might be to just um, jabber the TPF right away. You can't do that because it's not going to be patent its new DDS file in there. So what you gotta do is, I prefer to use Notepad++, you're gonna open the XML, and you'll see right here a um, few entries, and these right here are the files that are already in it. Don't worry about this as much, uh, just worry about these. Um, so, what I like to do is just copy this to make a new entry. Um, formatting doesn't matter too much, like this and spacing doesn't matter too much. I just like to delete it so it's a bit more tidy. Uh, I'm going to copy the name from that and replace it right here. And this is also pretty important. Um, different types of textures at different formats. Um, I can list it in the video description, um, but you can also go into other texture, other TPF files and kind of take a look at how they packed, packaged it. Um, so this one's 107, which is typically a normal in right here. 103 is typically a metallic, and zero is typically alpha. There's a few others. Um, emissive zero. Uh, what else is there? Vectors are 10. I can't remember off the top of my head. But let's say this is a uh, albedo. Um, I'm just gonna change this to a zero. File, save, and, uh, I'm going to yabber it, uh, the new one starting right here. I'm going to go all the way back out and then yabber it again. And that's what you have to do in order to put new files into something that's compressed. Otherwise, yabber is just going to ditch it if it's not in the XML entries.